Have you ever wondered why there's no plural for you in the English language? People have noticed that before and have tried to work around it, using the plural S, for example, as in use, or the rather more colourful you all or y'all, which I rather like, actually. But the truth is there is a plural for you in the English language, and it's you. What we've lost is the singular. It is a word that is still in use in the north of England in some parts, but not by the young, because the media in England is dominated by the south, and they don't use that word unless they're making fun of the north, as in, ee, thou art daft. But you will still see it when you're studying works by people like Shakespeare. The singular of you is thou. Now, a lot of people, when they do fake Shakespeare, get all the thou's, these, and thines mixed up. But the rules are very simple, actually. Where you would say, I am me, and my things are mine, you say, thou art thee, and thy things are thine. So the rules are fairly straightforward. Now, we didn't stop using the singular thou just to save some brain power while talking to each other. So why did we stop using it? Well, if you know your French, you have tu and vu, and vu is plural for you. And you use vu when talking to many people, or you use vu when you are talking to someone of a higher social station than you are, in a formal way. The same thing is true of the English. You use thou for people of your same station, and you for people of a higher station. Now, in France, formal vu is on the way out. In England, formal you is still all the rage. Now, back in the days of thou, people could get quite shirty if you weren't kinfolk and you used an informal form of address. Hence, don't thou thee me. I'm you to thee. You see, people today think of thou thee thy and thine as being airy fairy kind of highfalutin formal ways of speech. But it's actually the very opposite. To say thou you are fairly intimate with someone. Which makes one of the places that you still find this form kind of surprising. Now, if you've got one of these books, and if you don't, you can always just pinch them out of hotel drawers, and it hasn't been too modernised in its language, you'll find this if you read the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, which is singular already, art, it's in the verb ending, hallowed be thy name. It's singular, it's informal, it's intimate. It's things like this that ultimately inspired the Protestant Reformation and people feeling that maybe they didn't need priests in between themselves and God, which was horrifying to the Catholic Church, of course. What's a professional priesthood to do if nobody needs them? Ultimately, though, the Protestants also couldn't live up to that ideal. It turns out that professional priesting is far too lucrative a market niche to leave unfilled.